Welcome everyone to the town of Sciencape. As you tell, it's a stormy town and I'm ready to explore it with you. I've seen a little bit of this town. This town actually belongs to Chewy and the Porks on Tumblr and Twitter and other places. Um, Chewy is actually one of my lovely Twitch mods, so I've seen a little from playing with them already. But I haven't explored the town fully, so here we go. What do we have? We have we have an umbrella, of course. Good. Off to a good start. We've got some shoes. And we can't see that yet. What do we have? What a nice outfit. I love it. What do we have here? What are our other clothing options, I'm guessing? Let's get rid of our pajamas first. There we go. Oh, we could have a balloon. Let's see. Well, I can't see the shoes right now. It's fine. So. The first outfit definitely fits Morgana better. So we'll go with that. Plus, I never actually wear this dress, and I like it a lot. There we go. Okay. So we've got a nice plaque right in front of the tree. I love that little detail right there. Oh no, I want to keep the balloon. I didn't mean it. There we go. Just in case. What's the balloon? It's a blue bunny. <laughs> okay. So we've got quite a bit to explore. And up here, we've already got all these blue flowers with a little sapphire, some James ladders. So I'm guessing this is a blue and a white town. Ooh, a present. We've got some beans to throw. Oh. I didn't mean to pick up the flower. I meant to throw the beans. I love throwing beans into your ponds. Oh, more presents. Excellent. Man. And we've got a villager already. He seemed to be a little isolated. It's Aurora! I love Aurora. Aurora is such a cute penguin. I love this house. Now, I can't remember if Chewie said if all the houses in this town have been redecorated or not. There's lots of presents all over the town. I love it. I love finding presents. <gasps> Look at this. A lot of people don't actually use these. But I think they're a nice touch. Can we just like appreciate this pattern? I love this pattern. Oh, 
Look at all those blue flowers down on the beach. Wow. What is this? I can't see it. Please walk. I love it. Oh, and yep, uh, classic Tumblr sign chewing the forks, of course. Their information will also be linked in the description. Wonder if there's anything down on the beach besides a lot of flowers. There's a lot of flowers on that end. Aw, little beach towels. So nice. You can just come and hang out. Probably when it's not storming. We got another villager. I never met Vivian. Vivian was added in the Welcome Amiibo update. And can't remember if they were new or brought back from GameCube. They look like they could be a GameCube villager. But I've never met them before, so it's always fun to see new faces. Bunches of presents. There's a lot of presents, so I'm not gonna pick them all up. Oh, look at it. It's a chocolate coin. Because I want you to be surprised by some presents. If you did decide to visit, which you should. Interestingly, this house has red flowers um, outside of it, even though the rest of the town is blue. Velma. Such an iconic villager? I don't know if that's the right word, but like everyone knows her. Um She's not necessarily everyone's favorites, but everyone knows her, and everyone knows what the reference is also. Look at this little picnic area. Ah. So three picnic blankets so you can bring lots of your friends. This is Bo's house, isn't it? Yellow flowers outside this house. Hi, Bo. So Bo's house has not been changed much. I do know Bo's house. Except for this, these clothing pieces, but I love Bo's house. Bo's house is just like... I mean, look at it. It's so relaxing. His house is honestly one of my most favorite original villager houses. I did... Right, I did redecorate his house when I redecorated all the houses in Reverie, but I loved his starting house too. Now he has a lemonade stand. So we've got our first house. I didn't see anyone hanging around outside. I just went straight in. Is there someone outside or are they hanging out inside? Let's see if we can find someone. Might have wandered off. Up oh, there they are. Annette! Annette, I hope you enjoy your stay. This is a character I've seen a lot of. <laughs> this Chewie comes over in my streams a lot. Alright, so we've got the grand entrance room, have some fancy tea, listen to some music. 
or play. Nice, nice painting, uh, paintings, sculptures, wow. And then we've got Princess Bedroom, of course. We've got another fancy tea set. Love their teas. Nice little pet birdie. Nice and cozy, but still fancy. I like using the um, lily lamp in here. That's a nice touch. And of course, the stereo too. Nice little kitchen area, kitchen, um, bakery area. Look at these cupcakes, they're so fancy. The fancy tea set and the afternoon tea. So this is, now that I'm saying that, I'm like, it's not a bakery, it's where you come for high tea. Of course it is. I've gone to high tea in England. I should recognize it, right? This item, though, I'm not. Uh oh, I'm not familiar with that. Interesting. So we've got another bedroom here. This is definitely a fancy hotel room. I bet this cushion is really comfortable. A few luggage. Star Hotel in England or something. Somewhere similar. What do we have upstairs? Upstairs we have a little boutique to go shopping at. Nice. I have to say this is a wonderful use of this umbrella. I love it. Love the um the perfume behind the counter and everything. And then you've got all the changing stalls. I think it's very well done. Everything's so elegant in this house. And then we've got this little garden area. We're just casual, casual afternoon sitting in the gardens, sipping some juice. That's it for the first house. Let's see what else is there. So this is a full town with four characters. Lots to explore. This totally faked me out, and I thought it was actually, like, raised up. There's another... Oh, hey! Who are you? Have I ever seen you before today? Got it. You must be the one I'm fated to meet this evening. Like, Destin Pals hibiscus. Cool.
You traveled all the way up here? Okay. So this is a nice area in front of Town Hall. Look at that! Look at that town flag. That's so so well done. I love it. Wolf game. Take it easy. Well, that's the plan. It is a dream after all. Like, unless it's going to be a nightmare. Aw, look at the little garden plot. I have to go up here and see if there's anything. There's another picnic spot. Nice. Anything else? I'm guessing that's a pitfall. See? <laughs> What's the present by the picnic? It's a little candy. It's like, although little, it's almost the size of my head when I go to eat it. So we've got... We've already seen you. Here's another house. Grayson. <laughs> Nick doesn't pay enough. So clearly he works at the Happy Home Academy. Or Nick's Homes. At this point they're kind of one and the same, right? So. Got this nice little entry room. <gasps> Look at these flowers! I love it! So what's going on here? We have a shared bedroom. Blathers. Blathers bed and... Is this Celeste's bed? <gasps> Celeste. I love it. I love that um, design in the stained glass. That's great. I like how they definitely have their distinct sides of the room. Great. So I wonder, is this house gonna be like a house for all the NPCs or a bunch of the NPCs? Because this is like, this is Nook's room. Clearly. This is Digby and Isabel's room. D Isabel's scooter. I love it. Love that this alpine furniture matches Isabel's sweater <coughs> um, outfit all already. Always doing laundry. Why are they always doing laundry? Why so much laundry? Clearly, this is Gracie's. Gracie's room. She gets her own, of course. I've never, you know, I've never looked up her picture. What does it say? Let yourself be fooled by me, darling. Well, that's interesting. What could possibly, what she could, what could she possibly mean by that? Let yourself be fooled by me. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think on that one. Is claimed the upstairs. The Able Sisters. Look at 
sewing machine, all this, all the crafting stuff. Look at the quilt on the wall, nice touch. They all got their own individual beds <coughs> and their own chairs. Alright, got a little frog in my throat right there. And who's in the basement? Let's see, is it Leif? Red? Katrina? It's Kix. Of course it's Kix. Of course. I don't know why I said of course. I have no reason to think that it would have been Kix. Other than, yeah. He's on Main Street. Um, so this is Kix. This is Kix's room, not his house. And it's very cozy. I love it. Look at look at those items on. Uh, I don't even know what that is. See, this is clearly someone who's explored more of the Welcome Amiibo items than I have. I'm just like I don't know what any of this stuff is. What is Kick's picture say? You never know how things might turn out. Um, that could be good or bad. <laughs> but I think it's supposed to meant, be meant optimistically. That's a little home for all the characters, all the shop owners, really, on Main Street. Hi, Punchy! Thanks, Punchy. Punchy did not make it into my cat town. There are just so many cats in Animal Crossing, and there are so many lazy cats also. And my heart is like belongs to Mo. So when it comes to lazy cats, I needed him. I can't get there. Okay, we need to go around. Angie's house. It's like, I recognize this house, but it wasn't who I thought it was. Hi, Dingy. You're looking very fruity today. Fruitastic. Is that her original catchphrase? So we've got a campsite with a tent. And the camper right in here. Sorry, can't talk now. Badge. Scout. Okay. Hi, Scout. You've got some um, mud all over your stuff. Not sure if you knew. Did I just lay down in some mud? Yeah, very cramped tent full of all this stuff. Clearly, an archaeological dig is happening over here. Fossils galore. And lots of mud. by the campsite. Worn out jeans. Nice. Nice touch. Lucky. Lucky's house. I 
I like this. We get to this part of the town and it's very, very different and the villagers chosen for it are very different. And lucky and the... Clearly I was very... I was actually right about the archaeological dig site because look at Luggy's house with the pyramids and everything. Is this a pitfall? It's not a pitfall! So we don't have shovel. Oh, I like this! I didn't even notice the difference in the pattern. So this is all like more run over brooks and paths. And then you go back into the regular pattern. And you go back to civilization. You're not digging in the mud. What did you have to say about the mayor, though? You're the star of the town. Well, I want to know. I want to know about the mayor. One of our neighbors go. It's still living in a tent. Seems more like camping to me. You don't say. I just like to get m rumors about um, the mayor. Scout's a new face. Annette is an absolute bell pincher. Okay, well. Things Jonah should live in a great mansion. Jonah is a total bell pincher. Jonah. It's okay. By the time I'm ready to release a dream town, Andrew's like, I'm also a total bell pincher or a time traveler. Like those are my only two rumors about me in dream towns because like, I've been done building public work projects for forever. Um, and then sometimes I time travel like back and forth days trying to find the right weather. Um, hi, uh, I'm Mayor Jonah. Hi, Jonah. A very blue house. I love the wallpaper. I know Chewie said this is one of his favorite items in the game. I get a very crowded kitchen. Crowded, well, full. It's not even crowded, but full. It's got plenty of walking space here for putting together your cooking your meals and I love the mismatched chairs honestly I absolutely love it you've got a little breakfast nook over here and lots of books and plants so great Oh, and a picture of Aurora in the study. Always keep your cool. This wallpaper's gotta be a QR code, right? It's gotta be. I've never seen that before in the game, so. Oh, yeah. Look, it's on the cushion, too. It is. I like it. And it matches, it matches the, um, the lamp. <laughs> I know it's not the real furniture. I just always call it like, the, the gothic furniture, but I know there's a name for it.
I'll think of it at like 3 a.m. I use it all the time. Anyway, <laughs> the wallpaper matches it very nicely. We've got bathroom, laundry, and then what's over here? Oh, so it's like its own little kind of studio. Nice. Good use of space. And then a messy, messy upstairs apartment. Well, not super messy, but a little messy over right here. And look at the little shelves of plants. <laughs> More windows added in. Love it. It's so blue and so wonderful. And then that there in the basement. I did see this. I remember this. Grab some popcorn, have a seat, watch a movie. We can't can control the camera enough to actually see what's on the screen. But there, now we can. Now we can watch a movie. And it's it's time for aerobics. We haven't played aerobics in the original GameCube game. Definitely do it someday because it's fun. It's fun to try to get the controls down and then absolutely fail at them. <laughs> we didn't go down the beach here. Is there anything over here to explore? More, more towels. Ooh, lost pouch. Treasure chest. The very blue seaside town of Cyan Cape. Well, let's do chewing in the pores on Tumblr. And I really enjoyed exploring it. So come explore yourself, leave Chewy some nice comments about how much you like the town, and I will see you next week with another Dreamtown video. Have a great day.